The big derby between Nice and Marseille had to be abandoned on Sunday night following a pitch invasion by Nice supporters. Um, this happened. I mean, they were throwing uh, plastic bottles throughout yeah. the game. Um, they threw them at, uh, at Dimitri Payet. Uh, and Dimitri Payet decided to throw it back into the stands. Probably not. So it's not. It's not just point. throwing. It's like they actually hit him on the back, and it's quite. You 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 see on the footage, and then we saw the mark on his back, the, the red mark. It was quite. It was quite hard, and to the point that he goes a bit on the ground, then gets up, throws the bottle back, then throws a second one, and by then. A few of the Marseille players were there in front of the the Popular Sud, which is the ultra group of Nice, right. who used to be higher up in the stands at the Allianz Riviera. The first so now, came back, by the way, at the Allianz Riviera yeah, with fans. And then, and then now, uh, far closer to the pitch, and that's when they created trouble. So then, to respond to the Marseille fans coming towards them, they invaded the pitch, starting fighting, and we saw Luan Perez with a big red mark on his neck. We saw Ganduzi. Uh, like hurt or whatever on the lip. It was chaos. It was so ugly. So Somebody chaos. from the Marseille bench went and, and hit a fan very oh, yeah, some obviously. Paoli's, uh, some Paoli's assistant, one of his assistants with a with the orange bib. I mean, yeah. you could not not see it. <laughs> I know. You know, if he'd been it, Visible from outer space. And just went and, it was just crazy. And, and then, you're thinking, okay, the fans have been out of this game for 18 months. Now they're back. This is a huge derby. Let's say, okay, they hate each other. You know, when right. I was a kid, the the, 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 the the thing was, if you drive your car with a Marseille red plate to the Nice game, they would burn it. They literally were waiting outside for all the cars with red plate 13 to burn them. And same for the reverse fixture. So they hate each other, but come on, please. I, and then the worst, I think, is that the league said, OK, the game can restart now, resume. Marseille players was like, we're not coming back. This is not safe for us. The Marseille president, who already had an altercation in the stands with the, the Nice kind of hierarchy, saying like, my players are not safe. Why would we go back? But then the league said, no, no, you should go back. So Marseille will lose the game 3-0 instead of the 1-0 score that was at the time. But the, the, the precedent is that, OK, now if, you, if you're in the lead, 1-0 up against PSG or Marseille, send your ultras down, invade the pitch, threaten the opposition's players, and then well, you're going to get the I'm win, assuming, the win anyway. I'm going to assume now that, I'm assuming that France is a normal country, and that you're going to see the Allianz Rivera shut down without fans for a long so. time. Yeah. I would assume um, Nice forfeit the game. So it ends well, up it ends, it ends up as said, a defeat for both. I know, but technically, the league said the game is resuming. Right. If, if you must... But I don't understand why they didn't back. come back out. Because at that point, at that, first of all, the, the, the decision for the safety on the pitch, again, I, I don't know specifics in France, correct me if it's no, different. No, yeah, I'll tell you. It comes down to the referee and there's also the uh, a match delegate, yeah, right? And the police, who, who liaises yeah. with the police, right? Yeah. If the police say it's safe yeah. and the match delegate says it's safe yeah. and the referee all say it's safe, yeah. you have to at least pretend to come out onto the pitch. Yeah. I, it strikes me that they kind of knew what they were doing when they don't go back out. But because they were saying, this is not safe. You say it's safe. We're saying it's not safe. Our players just got attacked by your ultras an hour ago. Yeah. And now you want us to go back and, and take that corner in front of the same ultras who attacked our players. It's not safe. We're leaving. Couldn't they have cleared the fans or tried to? I guess that would, that would have been logistically too difficult. Maybe, I think, too difficult. I don't know. It's, it was crazy. I don't know what's going to happen. I think, I think potentially, I think... The win will go to Nice because that, that the rules and Marseille left the stadium when they were being wait, awaiting on the pitch. But Nice could get points being docked out because yeah. of the crowd trouble. I think they definitely plus right. Plus, the, so they might get three points, but then th minus three or minus two. And I think at least that, that part of the stadium will be shut down. I'm assuming there's also going to be bans for players, I, I, at least for me, right? I would come down hard on Payet. I would come down hard on Guendouzi. I would come down hard on... Who's, I'm assuming and it's going to be Alvaro, the yeah. idiot who boots the ball at yeah, the yeah, fans yeah. into the stands, yeah. including the fans who aren't coming onto the pitch, yeah. I might add. Yeah, yeah. And Jorge <laughs> Sampaoli, I think we need treatment for him because... I mean, he was ready to go. He was like, Leave, let me go, like, I'm going. If Basil Boli hadn't been there... Oh. See, fortunately, there's somebody who's bigger and balder than he is. Yeah. Basil Boli. And Abadonado as well, the did, former Marseille defender. Too, that's right. right. I, he was a piece yeah, of work. Yeah, as a, yeah, yeah. I, those guys were like the personal security crew. Yeah. And, he was mad. But he was I, mad. it was ugly. It was ugly. Yeah, it was really ugly. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.